know what really grinds my gears? This woman in Starbucks the other day asked me if I knew what the definition of misogyny was. I said, girl, I know what the... Oh, look who it is. If it isn't little Miss Nancy. <laughs> Having trouble with the printer? Yeah. And I really need to print this out before Ronald gets here or else he's going to yell at me again. Does it look like we really care? I was going to say, I hope this printer stays broken. That way we can get you out of here. Women like you don't belong in offices like these. Yeah, don't you have, like, a home to attend to? I don't know, maybe a meal to cook? Oh, wait. Probably doesn't have a man at home to cook for. <laughs> can you say, crazy cat lady? <laughs> okay, this is called workplace harassment. Can you even spell that? Because as far as I know, you two barely made it through college, while I had to get straight A's through honors classes to get this miserable job. Whoa! Incoming! <laughs> it's a nerd alert! A nerd! <laughs> so wait, wait. You're trying to say that you are so smart, but your position at this company is lower, therefore your pay is lower. Yeah, it really sounds like a sweet deal on your part. And it sounds like it's a win for us. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Alpha Males! Woo! <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with the promotion. <laughs> and get that face. Oh, gosh, I don't know why this isn't working. If I can't get this to print out. Oh. <gasps> Crap. Uh, good morning, sir. Stop talking to me. Where are those papers that were supposed to be on my desk? I don't see uh, about that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> oh, hey, boss. How was your morning? Well, it's not going too well. Those papers that Nancy was supposed to have on my desk for the pitch today, for the acquisition, are not here. And the CEO is gonna be here in an hour. Shame on you, Nancy. Tisk tisk. Honestly, the lack of respect for following orders from Nancy is really awful to deal with. Right, boss? I 100% agree. Nancy, you know how important this deadline was. I need those papers on my desk Pronto. Yes, sir. Chop, chop, Nancy, let's go. <laughs> hey, boss, you want some coffee? Coffee sounds amazing, Noah. Oh, same for me, actually. Oh, absolutely. I could use some too if you're making it. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm making it. <laughs> Here, listen, why don't you go make the coffee for us men? And if there's anything left over, make sure you throw it out. It's all grounds by the end, right? <laughs> <laughs> Two sugars. Got it. Good girl. <laughs> I can't believe I have to let those guys talk to me like that. This job is awful. Those guys are awful. The environment's toxic. And now, I'm here making those morons coffee. I can't keep working like this. Yeah, so does she at least have a hot voice? Super hot, I will tell you. See if she looks as good as she sounds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's about time, Nancy the negligent. <laughs> I mean, are you even sure this coffee is any good? Doesn't seem like she knows how to make coffee, even though she is a female. Maybe you should make it yourself next time, then. What'd you say? I don't think I caught that. Here, why don't... You catch this. Oh! What the heck? Are you insane, you crazy lady? I'm on the phone with the CEO for the acquisition. You're over here screaming? Get those papers on my desk now, or you're going to be folding laundry for the rest of your life jobless. I can't believe it. 
Thankfully, I muted that conversation. Women these days, they shouldn't even be in the workforce. We can agree on that. <laughs> Gosh, if I didn't have bills to pay, I would be out of here. <sighs> Nancy doesn't let the toxic workplace environment stop her from getting her work done. After doing some research, she might have figured out a solution to the printer problems. And once we get the CEO to sign these papers and hand over our company, not only are we going to be promoted, this is everything we've ever dreamed about. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, my boys. That's why today's meeting is so important. This is going to be life changing. <laughs> as long as Nancy doesn't screw it up for us. Oh, don't worry about that. After today, I'm going to fire her. That way there'll be more money to split amongst ourselves. It's going to be perfect. That is such a genius idea. You're such a thoughtful boss, Ronald. Fingers crossed this works. It turns out that you just sent the file in the wrong format, but I typed it all up from scratch and it went through perfectly. Finally. It took you long enough. All this waiting around has me starving. We could get celebratory drinks after the meeting with the CEO. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that is a perfect idea. That actually sounds really great. Could I come? <laughs> oh, you guys hear her? <laughs> no. Wait, wait, hold up, boys. Nancy might actually have something to celebrate after all, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Um, well, well, yeah, we'll just uh, wait and see how you're feeling at the end of the day there, Nance. <laughs> oh, wait. It's the CEO. She's going to be here in five. All right, boys, let's get ready for the biggest meeting ever! Pleasure to meet you, Elizabeth Williams. Pleasure to meet you too, Elizabeth. I'm Ronald Duggins. These are my employees, Noah and Remy. Pleasure. And I'm Nancy Lockett. Nobody asked you. There's a reason I didn't introduce you. It's a pleasure to meet you, Nancy. She said nobody anyway. Can we get on with the meeting? I have a lot to do today and I have a call with my financial banker. <laughs> yes, of course. Here are the papers. There's everything you need to know about the transaction here in these papers. All we're missing is your signature, and once you sign it, the firm will be all yours, and I'm sure we'll be getting some nice promotions. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Who wrote this? Great. Nancy? Oh, you can't just do one thing right. This is why women like you should be at home in the kitchen doing whatever it is women do because at least they won't be messing things up here! Yeah, uh, um, is, is something wrong? Is there a mistake or something? You know, look, look, she's, she's real new here. She's just getting started. She's really kind of all over the place, actually. And honestly, she's really the weakest link in the firm. Here, let me, let me fix Actually, it. Actually, I was going to say, this is very well written. In fact, I think that it's the best proposal I've ever read. Great job, Nancy. What? <laughs> you must be joking, right? 
The only joke here is you and the two of you, the way you've been treating Nancy, belittling her this whole time. Here, I signed this. Yes, we get to celebrate! Oh, baby! Come here! It's all talking about, yeah! Yes! <laughs> okay, calm down. Now that I am fully in charge of this firm, congratulations, Ronald. <laughs> yes, boy! My promotion! Woo! <laughs> You're fired. And the two of you are fired. What? what, what? Along with your so-called boss here. <laughs> what? No. The three of you need to learn to respect other people, especially Nancy here. I cannot imagine what it has been like working with people that are so ignorant and so uneducated as yourselves. We didn't know. I, I didn't know. Like, she's, look, she, she's been a great employee. We really need this job. Well, now you know. And I suggest that you remember moving forward. You need to remember that women are just as capable of doing this kind of job as men. In fact, I think more so in this case. Next time you guys want to be condescending and misogynistic, I suggest you think twice. God, this is awful. I don't have a job. I don't have any money now. We were supposed to be rich today. I know. Thank you so much for standing up for me, Elizabeth. It means the world. Well, you're welcome. And I would like to ask if you would be the manager of this firm. I need a strong, competent, intelligent woman to run things. Are you serious? Yes, yes, of, of course, yes. I would love to take this job. It's amazing news. <laughs> well, it's my pleasure, and I will be in touch with you. Yes, I'll talk to you soon. <sighs> so, for my first act as manager, I will be enforcing Elizabeth's first act as CEO. I would like to ask you all to please pack your things and leave the premises immediately. <laughs> Time to get to work. To all the women in the world, you are no less than any man. Anything is possible as long as you put your mind to it. Keep pushing, keep working, and keep thriving, no matter what anyone says to you. <laughs>